planet Earth is full of surprises. It's got some of the most incredible yet bizarre places that are absolutely otherworldly at first sight. This includes sparkling seabeds, anti-gravity hills, neon skies, and a lot more. So join us in today's video as we discuss the places around the world that seem like they're out of this world. Do you have even a few in mind? Let's see if they're part of our list. Let's start with the underwater waterfall at Mauritius. Idyllic beaches and crystal clear sea aside, the island is also so popular for a super fascinating phenomenon called the underwater waterfall. And this waterfall is located at the southwest corner of the island and is a sight every tourist wants to see when they visit the Mauritius. It's not real, of course. It's actually an optical illusion that's caused by the structure of the sea floor. You see, the island sits on an ocean shelf no more than 500 feet deep, but at the edge of the shelf is a drop of about two and a half miles. This causes particle of sand to be pushed over the current and causing the ocean floor to look like an underwater waterfall that's flowing into an unknown abyss. Next, we have the Spotted Lake from Canada. This magical lake, a normal sight during the winter and spring seasons. It's in the summers, however, that it turns into a polka dotted Swiss cheese kind of phenomenon because as the ice melts, blue, green, and yellow spots appear on the lake's surface, giving it an eerie look that feels right out of a Star Wars movie. But this lake isn't a magical body from a galaxy far, far away. The colored pools are actually caused by the concentration of different minerals in the lake. Speaking of colored lakes, we also have Lake Hillier in Australia, which can be a strong contender for the next Barbie movie, thanks to its bubblegum pink color. You can almost imagine the residents of Barbieville lounging around the lake on a hot sunny day. But this 600 meter long lake isn't an alien entity. There's actually a scientific reason behind its bright color, which says that it is caused by a mix of colorful bacteria and algae. And the lake's also known for its salt concentration. Did you know that it's eight times saltier than the ocean? Crazy we know, but this isn't the only colored lake that we have on Earth. There's also Rio Tinto in Spain, which is a red colored lake that existed for more than 5,000 years and is called the Red River thanks to its crimson colored waters. And the color is actually because of the copper, silver, and gold mines that surround the lake's surface. It's truly a beautiful sight, but it's also dangerous for people, especially because of its high acidity and the bacteria found in the water, which by the way is similar to the bacteria found on Jupiter's moon, Europa. How fascinating. Then we have the glowworm caves in New Zealand. There's no lack of natural wonders in the country that brought Lord of the Rings to life, including caves where starry nights take up a whole new meaning. Located beyond its majestic mountains, deep valleys, and glaciers, the series of caves will take you right to the heart of Middle Earth. They're so magical. And this stunning site is created by glowworms that are the larval forms of a species of fungus named gnat that are endemic to the country. The bioluminescence is the insects it's produced in their abdomens to attract prey. And it happens because of a chemical reaction between luciferase enzyme and a molecule of luciferin. And yeah, let's just pretend we all knew what that is. But who knew science could be so pretty? And then there's the Wadi Rum in Jordan. The desert in South Jordan looks very much like an alien landscape, like something out of a movie or a vision straight from Mars. Spread over 277 square miles, the desert's a dramatic wilderness with sandy valleys and high, smooth red dunes, along with rock formations that are super beautiful and mesmerizing. The desert's also been described as godlike by Thomas Edward Lawrence during the 20th century. Safe to say, the destination has preserved its ethereal qualities throughout the years and has even starred in a number of movies, according to IMDb. There's also the majestic Mount Roraima in Venezuela. The incredible powers of nature take full display at Mount Roraima, which seems like a destination straight out of Moana. The 12-mile wide summit is surrounded by a 1,300-foot tall cliffs that make almost an accurate square shape, also forming the tri-point border between Venezuela, Guiana, and Brazil. It's also part of a local myth among the locals that say the formation is a stump of a giant tree that once bore all the fruits and vegetables of the world. And these cliffs have also inspired a number of fictional stories, including The Lost World by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle and Paradise Falls from the movie Up. And next, we've got the Vatna Jukal Glacier in Iceland which also happens to be the second largest glacier in Europe. This huge natural relic covers 3,130 square miles of space, which makes up 8% of Iceland's landmass. That's huge for sure. But what makes this glacier a marvel is the several active volcanoes that lie below its surface. That's an alien concept only nature can pull off, that a glacier is hiding volcanoes whose eruptions are overdue. Sounds like a disaster film ready to happen. And it gets scarier when you consider the fact that the glacier is shrinking year by year because of global warming. In the past, 
past 15 years, its thickness has decreased by three feet per year on average. As sad as that is, let's hope it doesn't cause the volcanoes to erupt anytime soon. And on that note, we're moving on to the next place on our list, which is the Stone Forest in Madagascar. Famous for its unparalleled biodiversity, Madagascar is home to an impressive stone forest located within the Singi de Bemaraha National Park. The Singi and this unique landscape's name literally translate to where one can only walk on tiptoe, which sums up the precariousness of the location. The place looks like it's part of a stone planet, where plants have been replaced by limestones that have taken the shape of trees. In actuality, the stones were formed due to tectonic activity that lifted the limestone deposits above the water surface. Then, over the millennia, monsoon rains and groundwater erosion have led to the formation of those towers you see, with canyons between them. Visiting this alien destination is no walk in the park, though. The place lives up to its name because even its tallest formations are sharp enough to easily cut through flesh and equipment. So if you're planning to visit the destination on your next world tour, maybe take a detour to a safer location that's equally fascinating, but more colorful. Like the Rainbow Mountains in China. These amazing technicolor peaks are so beautiful that they almost look unreal, but they very much exist in the Zhangji Danghia Landform Geological Park in the Gansu province and are a popular tourist destination. These rainbow colored wonders are a result of diagenetic and mineralogical processes that make up the red, blue, green, and yellow colors that almost look as if they're painted on the rolling mountains. The place is truly magical and was even named a World Heritage Site in 2009. And then we have the Danakil Depression in Ethiopia. Doesn't this look like the place that Anakin was burnt to become Darth Vader? To match its theme, the location has also been named the Gateway to Hell. In fact, the Danakil Depression is probably the closest anyone can come to standing on the surface of Venus, without the air-crushing atmosphere, of course. And this fact alone qualifies this location to have an outer world experience. The place is filled with sulfuric acid and chlorine gases in the air, and its landscape is peppered with acid ponds and geysers. BBC's also reported that the temperatures in this region reach 113 degrees Fahrenheit, which makes it one of the hottest places on Earth. Lying in a rift valley over 330 feet below sea level, the Anakin Depression, oh, sorry, the Danakil Depression, has frequent volcanic activities that literally pull the Earth apart at its seams. Some of its features can even be seen from space, according to NASA's Earth Observatory. Safe to say, this location is the closest we'll come to seeing another planet in real life. And last but not least, we also have the auroras. These dancing northern lights are probably one of the most distinct wonders of nature. Their vivid colors take you to a whole other world where reality doesn't exist. And that's the beauty of the auroras. We can almost imagine Rapunzel and Flynn Rider cruising across the lights in a fairy tale music video. In fact, they're so enchanting, they're even visible from outer space. NASA has reported time and again that these lights look like a crown around the poles of our planet. If that is an ethereal, we don't know what is. And that concludes our list of places that are so beautiful that they transport you to a whole other planet. And these aren't the only ones, of course, but if we listed them all, we'd probably have to spend hours talking about the visual wonders our Earth is full of. And that's a wrap for this video. Have you had a chance to visit any of these incredible destinations? Let us know in the comments down below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.